at Ma's house for Sunday lunch. We're about to sit down as a family and eat it. And everyone's here except for Connor and Kurt. Nah, eh, they've gone to Canada to see Connor's grandparents. I look outside the window to see Beth playing touch rugby with Luke. Oh, Luke is having a great time. <laughs> you won't be surprised to know he's actually beating Beth. Beth crosses a finger around her neck to gesture to Luke he's dead meat. <laughs> I laugh. Why? Because in this family, this is the one I've always wanted. This family matters to me so much. Vinny sits on the couch next to me. He offers me a can of beer. I take it. He suggests we click drinks. We do it. I bet you're wondering. Wondering what? Wondering how Luke became a wheelchair user. Beth already told me he fell down the stairs. Vinny lifts an eyebrow. What? Are you telling me she's lying to me? Hey, it's none of my business. Vinny stands up and looks to exit. I grab him by the arm. It sounds like you have something to say, Vinny. Did someone hurt my Luke on purpose? Look, I don't think we should... Vinny, who hurt my son? Before Vinny can answer, Beth enters. No one hurt him. It was a bathroom accident. Oh, funny. A few days ago, you said he fell down the stairs. Oh, no, I got confused with my Uncle Gerald. You never mentioned you had an Uncle Gerald to me. That's because he used to fill me up, so I don't discuss him. God, stop analyzing everything. Beth, you gotta quit playing. Tell my nephew what happened to his son. I need the truth right now. Beth looks at Luke, wheeling away. All right, I will. Beth's just rounding up the story of what happened to Luke. So, do you think this Mason Sanchez guy ran him over on purpose? Maybe. I don't know for sure. If I did, he'd be floating by the shore by now. I'm evil. Well, it sounds like there's more left of the story. What is it? What else don't I know? Talk now. I don't want to say it's not essential. Do you want to make out? Beth... Stop changing the subject. This is important. Talk to me. Ugh, fine. I had a brief affair with Mason. He was married and he promised me he'd leave his wife and be with me. But he didn't. Why not? He had a clown fetish which creeped the hell out of me and I wouldn't do the things he wanted, so Mason chose his wife. Okay, so what happened next? One night, I got myself drunk. I was lonely, so I accidentally left a message on Mason's wife's cell phone asking him to come have his way with me. And? And Mason's wife listened to the voicemail and acted. Did she run over my son? No. No. She announced she was divorcing him, and since Mason's wife has a watertight prenup, Mason was going to get nothing in the divorce. <laughs> so he got his revenge by running over my boy. I don't think so. The police couldn't prove anything. <sighs> they tried to get CCTV pictures on the road Luke was playing soccer on, but the footage disappeared, so they couldn't find any evidence of the crime. Vinny enters. Delamaya disappeared. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to rugby tackle my son. Excuse me. And I need to deal with this. I stand up and look to exit. Beth stops walking and grabs me by the arm. David, you can't fight him. His dad is a chief of police. He'll put you in prison. So what? I should just let him get away with hurting my son? No, but the universe will find its unique way to punish Mason. Hey, is she drunk? Oh, she sounds like she is. I'm not. Look, once my mom revealed that you slept together, I prayed that you would have a heart attack. And guess what? The universe is on its way to deliver my prayers. It's just requests I keep feeding you with bacon and cheese. Huh. I am putting on weight. It's happening because the universe is repaying me. See, it works. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, are we kids? This isn't a magical fairy tale, Beth. This is real life shit. Oh, I need to deal with the Sanchez trash bag. He's about to meet Luther and Reacher. I kiss both my fists and I walk off.
I bang on the door. A tall, menacing-looking man opens the door. Who the hell are you? David Harrison. I believe you dated my ex, Beth. Mmm. Tall, leggy brunette with big, bouncy tits. Yeah, I remember her. Talk about it like that again, and I rip off your balls. Oh, funny. You're a natural comedian, David. How's your son, Luke? My son Brian goes to Luke's school. Brian tells me Luke gets bullied quite a lot. Then again, Brian would know since it's him who tortures the little puke. Mason laughs. Don't you mention my son's name ever again. Oh, what, jackass? I squirt up to Mason. He points at the camera staring at us. Don't even think about it, pretty boy. You're illegally on my property. You're about to get violent. I could quickly get out my handgun and kill you and I wouldn't go to prison. You ran over my son. I'd like for you to apologize. You're trespassing on my property. I'd like for you to get on your way before I kill you. This is your last warning. Here's how things will play out. First, you'll walk over to your car. You're making me real mad, David. You'll get in and take a nice drive to my house, where you'll apologize to my son Luke for running him over. You don't know who you're messing with, do you? I can make your life Armageddon. Try it. Let's see the outcome. I could ruin your son's life, too. Haven't you heard? My 13-year-old bullies him hard at his school, David. I can get my son to hang him up by his lockers. Do you want that? Say the word and it happens. You don't want to push me, sunshine. Well, all right, then that's settled. Next time your kid comes home from school, he'll have a broken arm. Actually, I'll add broken legs to go along with that. Not that it's... <laughs> Not already broken. I grab Mason and violently push him back against his door. He casually smiles. He's not at all threatened. I think people would say that this is assault. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. And my dad, who, by the way, is a superintendent at the New Jersey Police Department. Hell awaits you, David. It awaits. Mason pushes me to the ground and then walks back into his house. I get up and bang on his door. Mason opens his door and holds a gun. He cocks it. I warned you, didn't I? Do you want to die today? I turn around and walk off. I get in my car and I speed away. I walk into Ma's house. My Ma, Leanne, shouts at me. David, is that you? Uh, who else could it be, Ma? Ma walks downstairs. Don't you get disrespectful with me. You've already done enough today. What are you talking about? Veronica Sanchez called. Am I supposed to know who that is? My Ma walks over to me and slaps me across the head. Veronica is Mason's mother. Mason is Beth's ex-boyfriend. Veronica is a bingo acquaintance of mine who just called to say that she went over to her son's house to threaten Mason. Ma, I didn't do that. They're lying. Oh, really? Are they lying? So why does Veronica say she has you on camera punching her son? I didn't punch him, Ma. She's lying. I'm a saint. You know me. Yeah, and I also know how much you got yourself into trouble as a teenager. I'm not stupid, David. Oh, Ma, come on. David Russell Harrison. You stay away from that family, do you hear me? They're vile dog muck. They're nothing but trouble. So unless you foresee prison for you in the future, you'll avoid them at all cost. Are we clear on that? <sighs> yeah. But you need to know Mason confessed to running over Luke. What? Mason ran over my son on purpose because Beth did something. Well, how do you know? Have you got proof? I think a confession is enough evidence, Ma. You watch your tone. I'm not in the playing mood. I only want justice for my son, Ma. Then get justice through legal channels. 
don't use your fists. I can't just sit back and allow someone to get away with hurting my son. Mason will be punished. You're just like your father. You're stubborn and you think with your fists. But do you know who ends up paying for your actions? It's us, the women and the kids. I'm sorry, Ma. But I will act and correct Mason's behavior. Even if I have to pay a price for it. Oh, well. Then you're fucking stupid. I can't even look at you right now. Excuse me. Ma, come on. Please don't hate me. Whatever happens from now on, you stay the hell away from the Sanchez family. You don't do that. They've promised to press charges. Do you understand? I've done my part. I wish you all the best, David. I really do. And my ma walks off. Luke wheels into the house. Hey, Luke, buddy. Do you want it? Don't talk to me. Luke wheels away. Beth walks in and glares at me. What did I do now? Um, let's see. You went over to Mason's house and you threatened him. I didn't, but carry on. In return, he told his son to make Luke's life hell in school and outside school. Excuse me? Brian, Mason's son, just sent Luke a threatening message promising to kill him at school tomorrow. What the fuck? Are we playing this game of pretending you didn't know this was going to happen? Listen, I'll sort it out. I won't let Luke be harmed. That's right. He won't. I know this because you'll stay out of his goddamn business. Have you got that? Yeah, okay, Jesus. Luke, honey, pack up your stuff. We're leaving. Beth, please stay with me. Stay here. Come on. Hurry up, Luke. Vinny, who's in the corner drinking a beer, waves me over. I walk over to him. Hmm. That family need dealing with. I have to stay out of it. Last week, this mason prick charged me three times as much to get my car real lights fixed. Mm, I'm still keeping myself clear of him. I looked up the prices on the internet, and I confronted him, and he laughed in my face. Yeah, a lot of people don't need the motivation to do that anyway. Ah, funny. Anyway, this mason prick said I wouldn't get back my car unless I paid him. Eh, they took the piss out of me. We have to act. If you don't act, then I will. No, Vinny. We'll stay well clear of it. That's an order. Ah, right, all right. Well, then, I better head off. The broad's waiting for me at my apartment. You're not leaving this alone, are you? Oh, you bet I ain't. Vinny walks over to the door. He opens the door and grabs his jacket and leaves the door ajar for me. After I beat, I joined them by walking out. It's a day later. Me, Vinny, my dad and Jack Harrison. We all met up for a drink at my parents' house yesterday. We discussed the issue of Mason and his son Brian, but crucially... We decided not to act. Look, if this creep and his son leave our Luke alone, I say we leave it there. If they don't, we kidnap them, take them to the woods, and let them dig their own graves. No violence. We keep the peace. We keep it at all costs. Listen, people like this don't just play fair. I'm telling you, this Mason creep will hit harder. Bullies always do. When it comes to the point where the man has to face his fears and deal with the situation man to man. This is that time. Look, I push this issue, and my relationship with Beth deteriorates. I can't risk that. I have to leave it alone. Well, maybe you don't have to do anything. I mean, we can take care... No, Vinny. I want Mason left alone. That's an order. Well, you're the definition of a chicken, if you ask me. So there we have it. We won't touch Mason under conditions that Mason don't order his son, Brian, to touch Luke at the school. If Luke's touched, then it's present for Mason. Why? Hm. You see, Vinny and Jack know a guy who works for a superintendent at the New Jersey PD office. The superintendent, well, is Mason's dad, the super guy is. 
You won't be surprised to know. Hmm. <laughs> Not well liked. Few people want to bring down Mason's dad. The guy Vinny and Jack know is, uh, hunting for superintendent's job. So, as you can imagine, this guy's willing to do anything to knock Mason's dad off his high horse. So that's where Vinny comes in. Vinny, unbeknownst to me, broke into Mason's house. Using his contacts in the police, Vinny managed to get a supply of drugs which he planted in Mason's house while he was sound asleep last night. It was stored in the goddamn place. Now Mason has a past involving arrests for supplying drugs to known drug dealers. Mason has been arrested three times for it. Unluckily for Mason, he's on this final warning. Do you see where this is going? You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. No, Vinny isn't that bastardly. He plays fair. Yesterday, Vinny warned Mason that he'd go to jail if Mason's son touched Luke. Vinny also warned him he had 24 hours to come over to my house and apologize for running him over. Mason had to also talk to Brian, his son, and to apologize for bullying Luke. Now, I've been home all day. And there's still no sign of Mason O'Brien. Eh, so Vinny, not gonna be very happy. Beth walks through the school hallway. She's just been called to come to Luke's school right away. There's been a report of fighting at the school between Brian, Mason's son, and Luke. And Luke's been injured. Brian claimed that Luke called him a Nazi. Both sets of parents have been called. However, I have not been. I guess I'm not on the school's list. Beth opens the principal's office. She catches Luke alone with Brian hitting Luke. Brian hits Luke without a hint of mercy. Beth ran over to pull Brian off Luke. Beth does her best to protect our son. Luke bleeds. His forehead is already damaged. Beth ran over to pull Brian off Luke. Beth does her best to protect our son. And Luke bleeds. His forehead is already bandaged. Brian tries to, with all his power, to get to Luke. Beth stands her ground, protecting Luke. The office door opens and the principal, Mason and Mason's girlfriend, enter. Brian claims Beth hit him. Mason's girlfriend smacks Beth right in the eye. Later, the doorbell rings. I answer the door. I open the door to find Beth with a black eye. Luke is a bandaged forehead. He wheels himself into the house and goes into the den. What happened to you? <sighs> Have a guess, Einstein. Mason? Yep. Luke's school principal called to tell me Luke was injured. Okay. Well, why wasn't I called? That's not important. Anyway, I walked into the school to find Luke in the principal's office being sucker punched by Brian. Oh, the little bastard. Yep. That's not what I call him. I smile. Anyway, you tried to break it up. The principal walked in and then Brian claimed that I hit him. And just behind the principal, guess who walked in? Mason. Not just Mason, but his new girlfriend, too. Brian claimed you hit him, didn't he? Yep. Hence the black eye from Mason's new girlfriend, the Whore of Babylon. I want to deal with this. There's no point. The principal called the police. They arrested the Whore of Babylon, and I need to put ice on my eye. Well, I'm sorry for all this, Beth. I really am. The doorbell rings. I answer it. Mason walks in. There are three police officers behind him. Well, hello, family. All right, what the hell do you want? Uh, David Harrison? That's me. David, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault and battery. What the actual fuck is happening here? You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say could be used as evidence in your trial. Cuff him. An officer walks up to me with cuffs. I try to grab Mason, but he moves out of the way, laughing. I'm gonna get you for this! Oh, hell. You'll be in jail. The police cuffs me and leads me away. You won't get away with this. I'm a lawyer. He won't stay locked up for long. He'll get out and your life will be hell. Yeah. 
about that, you won't be representing him. What? What have you done now? What are you up to? Mason moves out of the way. Hmm. Surprise. The female police officer walked in. You're being arrested too, bitch. Mason smiles. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Luke wheels himself over. Ma'am, I'm here to arrest you. Beth, I'm arresting for assault and battery on a minor. Kiss your law career goodbye. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say will be used as evidence. Take her away. Enjoy being beaten up in jail. Beth is cuffed and led away. Luke, honey, call your grandma to pick you up. I won't be arrested for long. Beth led away. The officers disperse. The front door is closed. It's just Luke and Mason alone in the house. How would you like to spend the night at my house, Luke? Brian wants to chat with his fists. Luke wheels away, but Mason stops him from leaving. Uh, uh, uh. We're not done here. We're not done by a long mile. Mason laughs sinisterly. There's more to come of Military Guy. Follow that love podcast on your favorite podcast app to get future episodes as soon as they drop. And if you love the podcast, well, please share it with your friends and your family. Thank you.